Welcome to the Diary of an IT Guy. Within the shadows of the digital realm, I, a mere IT support technician, found myself entangled in a web of horrors, lurking behind every click, every keystroke, and every flickering screen. The tales that follow are not for the faint of heart. They are the true accounts of the terrifying encounters that plagued my very existence. The names in the series have been changed. Not to protect the identity of the players, but because I just can't remember their names. <laughs> the Sinister Saga continues in Episode 2. The Mystery of the Holy Scream. Let's go back to the mid-2000s. A legal practice approached us to upgrade their dated IT infrastructure. At first, it all seemed straightforward. However, it would soon become my nightmare. They wanted to upgrade from this to this. That's right, folks. That's an electric typewriter. Don't get ahead of me, folks. I know you may think that's the WTF moment, not even close. A week later, the network was in place and all the computers were rolled out. The boss was happy and the staff were content and it all went off without a hitch. Or so it would seem. Fast forward two days and I get a frantic call from the office manager. Hi. Yeah. We need you to come out. We have an issue with one of the new monitors. Okay. What seems to be the issue? I, I can't explain over the phone you're going to need to see it. I arrived on sight to the horror that awaited me. Guys, believe it or not, still not the WTF moment. But we getting there. After years of training and dealing with what the F moments, I calmly started my investigation. Martha, what the hell did you do to your screen? Oh, my boy. It's complicated. Martha slowly began to explain how the brand new screen came to have a gaping hole. The mystery continues. Well, I blame muscle memory. I've been working on typewriters for the last 40 years. And if I made a mistake, I would use correction paste. So, for some reason, I suppose in, instead of hitting the delete button, I, um corrected it directly on the screen. It seemed natural to me. Okay, Martha. That doesn't explain the hole in your screen. A uh, what the F moment indeed. But the real WTF moment is yet to come. I very quickly realized the error I made, so I decided to correct my mistake. I tried acetone at first, but that just smudged it and ate a little bit of the screen. Nope. Still not the WTF moment. Martha, you used acetone on your monitor, so that ate a hole in the screen. No, not exactly. I reached for my scissors and after a bit of good old-fashioned elbow grease, I got rid of the correction paste. And there you have it, folks, our very own series of unfortunate events that lead up to the big... What the F moment. The mystery of the Holy Monitor is finally solved. I left the company a few months later, but I heard that before Martha retired a year later, she was happily still working on her old typewriter. And they would never ask her to use the microwave. Something about leaving a fork in it. So the moral of the story... Next time you tell your granny what they can and cannot do, remember to hide the scissors. Guys, we love making videos for you, but we need your support. If you like this episode, please leave a comment and destroy that subscribe button. If you don't want to miss any episodes, don't forget to click the notification button.